we're Wolf Alice. Thanks for watching Music News. Subscribe here. <laughs>
it was just like a little hobby kind of thing. And, and so we never went through that stage where we're like, right, we're in a band, what should we call ourselves? Do you know what I mean? It's just a little project. If you'd really thought of it even more seriously, would you still get the same name or gone somewhere else? We got for piss cat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how does the songwriting process work then within the band? Oh, it just varies with every song, really. Uh, we don't have one set way of writing. We just uh, one song will be written by one person, another song will be written by another, another song will be written all together in a rehearsal room. It just kind of varies. Do you write on the road quite a lot, or do you have to be off the road in order to sort of come up with ideas? I think we have to write on the road now, just because we're, yeah. we're away from home for so long. But, uh, for this album, most of it was written you know, in one of our houses or at a house or in, in London. And uh, where do you all get your own sort of musical inspirations from? Mm. There's loads of things, isn't there? No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have like... Um, Glenn Campbell. Yes, that's yeah. my hero at the moment. Glenn Campbell's songwriting. Genuinely. Next. <laughs> no, we don't take inspiration for like we don't have like our set five bands that we all love and that we all like ins like aspire to be like. We kind of we all we absorb things all the time from different things, you know. So we're kind of open about it, and it's always changing, and it always has changed. And yeah, it's just, it's, hard, it's a really difficult question to answer because there's no if we answered with one answer, then it would give a false of what we are and what, how we came about. Sure, sure. And, um, you know, the whole touring thing, you know, are you enjoying it? Are you embracing yeah. it all? Something that, you know, touring is the best part of the job type thing, or do you prefer being in the studio? They each have, like, their different merits, but I think at the moment, because the album's out and the excitement's still very, like, around us, we're surrounded by it, I think we're really enjoying playing shows and every everyone that's come to us was so supportive and nice that you wouldn't, I don't think you could not like it, so yeah. Yeah, there's a big crowd going outside. You've got yeah. always doing well on social media, always getting tweeted, etc. Yeah. So it's all going well, it's looking upwards. But, you know, thanks a lot for your time, it's been great. Thank if you, you had to choose three songs from your repertoire as it stands now, that, you know, you say would sum you up as a band, what three would you say that music news watchers have got to check out? Your Love's Whore, Giant Peach, and Freezy, because they're all the different the ends of the continuum, pop heavy in, in the middle. <laughs> Great stuff, thanks a lot for your time. Anything else you'd like to say to Music News Watchers? Hello Music News Watchers. Goodbye Music News Watchers. <laughs> <laughs> well thanks a lot for your time, see you in a bit, looking forward to the yeah, show. Thank Bye. you. Thanks. Bye.